Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika and this is Check the Rhymes. I am super excited about today's show because we are talking about Tyler Perry's Ruthless on BET+. New episodes drop every single Thursday. We're already into the second season, so make sure you run over there, get your subscription to BET+, and check it out. In the building today, I have two of the stars of the show, Melissa L. Williams and Matt Cedeno, and we're going to be talking about what we can expect this season, so stay tuned because you don't want to miss today's show. What's up, girl? Hi, welcome to Check the Rhymes. How are y'all? Great. Thank you so much for asking. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So, Ruthless, the second season. Who y'all. <laughs> I need to know what can we expect this season? And um, either one of you can answer the question. That pretty much well, sums it up right there, what you said. Who <laughs> <Ooh>, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> My North right. Carolina jumped out. <laughs> In a nutshell, that's it. Um, okay. I think it picks up nicely where it picks up nicely where season one left off. Um, fr from an actor's perspective, I feel like Tyler really sort of honed in to what he was doing and the story he wanted to tell. He increased mm -hmm. the complexity of the character, so there's a lot of uh, uh, alliances that are made and broken and trust and distrust that's taking place this season. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would just look for all of that to intensify, you know, uh, for all okay. the characters, really. It's, Pretty intense, yeah. Okay, Melissa, for you, I have a question from a fan. Um, she wanted how? to know, how do you detox from these sex scenes? Like, how do you just kind of turn it off yeah. after, at the end of the day after filming? Um, uh, okay, so we do have an intimacy coordinator. Her name is Ma'am. <laughs> um, because this is the thing, you know, I had, I had sex scenes and then I had like a, a rape scene that also that's sexual. So it's like, the thing is, um, this twisted realm of ruthless that we have, um, definitely requires that you have some detoxing. So our intimacy coordinator, she was really kind. I don't know if all intimacy coordinators do this, but she definitely took the time after we would wrap. She would literally text, call, and be like, "Where are you? We need to talk. We need to. We need to. Let's have a woo saw moment, okay? Let's bring it down so we can do this again tomorrow." You know. So she. It, um. I think for me, um, obviously knowing that it's it's not real, um, and then uh, detoxing or decompressing with Ma'am, that's our intimacy coordinator, is is what helps. Okay. I had no idea intimacy coordinators existed. You just taught me something this morning. I thought it was the director that did all that. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, so for both of you, if you could answer this question from um, another fan, they wanted to know how you mentally prepare for a show like this, because, you know, obviously there are so many twist turns and, and some dark moments. Um, Matt, we'll start with you. Well, uh, for me, it just starts with the script breakdown, you know, really sort of analyzing the story that's to be told there, um, where my character's coming from, what it is that my character wants, um, and just start really connecting to it over and over and over again, because, um, you know, the shooting schedule is just so intense with everything being compressed so much. So mm -hmm. really for like a month and a half, just sort of living the character pretty much. Um, starts here at home as soon as we get the scripts it's like you know you're just going through making sure that everything is prepared and and in your brain for the time that you uh you arrive on set um so everything just kind of comes to life i guess eat breathe live it for a month and a half straight become the highest okay <laughs> do you have do you make people call you the highest <laughs> no but that's a good idea um, it's automatic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just we just see him and we're like, oh my god, the highest, the highest. Oh. <laughs> what about you, Melissa? How do you prepare mentally? You know, before getting on set. Um. Well, because it is it is a sensitive you know subject matter and it's real, like it's happening. Um, I definitely grab because I'm pretty goofy and like. 
you know, like to laugh a lot. So this is, that's not what our show is about. And I definitely ground myself in, in watching real interviews before we shoot. Um, they're all on YouTube. There's, you know, documentaries that we, we had to watch. So just remembering scenes of, of women who were talking about their experience in, in a cult. Um, and I also listen to music. Um, I really find that gospel music puts me in like a, a, a state of humility. I don't know. And so that kind of mm-hmm. just makes me more grounded. Um, so I listen to that too. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I want to thank you both for coming on Check the Rhymes. And I know I will be tuned to the screen on BET Plus watching Ruthless to see what is happening. Because I'm going to see if y'all are going to really make me go, woo, y'all, there's a whole season. <laughs> you're you're you. going to be doing a lot of who, who y'alls for sure. Woo, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all so much. Thank, thank you. you.